Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Sketchy Legends. In this episode, we're going to explore something highly documented and entirely truthful, though is almost unbelievable. If you're ready, sit back, relax, and let's dive into it. Morgan Robertson, born September 30th, 1861, was a natural-born American seaman. He grew up being the son of a ship captain on the Great Lakes, and soon followed in his father's footsteps. He started out as a cabin boy from 1866 to 1899 on a merchant service, running errands for the captain, occasionally standing watch and assisting other crewmen when needed, and eventually worked his way up to becoming first mate. However, Robertson became tired of constantly being away at sea and returned to New York City where he studied jewelry making at Cooper Union. Falling comfortably into his new position back on solid land, he became a diamond setter for the next 10 years. However, as he grew older, his declining vision became a problem for his work, forcing him out of the jewelry business. Needing to find a new source of income, Robertson turned back to what he knew best, the sea. Well, sort of. Instead of leaving the comfort of New York for the raging sea again, he began to write short stories, more specifically, stories revolving around various settings at sea. Some of his works may sound familiar, such as The Derelict Neptune and Honor Amongst Thieves, However, none are more interesting than the story Futility. The story of Futility is, in the end, ultimately a love story. However, it contains some very interesting and, at the time, revolutionary ideas. Like many of Robertson's other stories, this is a sea tale. Futility is about a ship that is set to sail from New York to Liverpool. What was so revolutionary about this launch was that it was said to be the largest passenger liner ever constructed, holding up to 3,000 people. It could travel up to 24 knots and was deemed unsinkable. After just a few days after setting sail into the frigid waters of the Atlantic, the ship, moving too quickly during poor visibility at night, ultimately collided with an iceberg. The unsinkable ship started taking on water far too quickly and hadn't supplied enough lifeboats for the amount of passengers on board, resulting in the death of 2,487 people. The name of this passenger liner was the Titan. All of this sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Obviously, Robertson took great inspiration of the tragedy of the Titanic, However, Futility was first published in 1898, 14 years prior to the Titanic setting off on its maiden voyage and met its tragic end. There are many people out there who believe that Robertson predicted the Titanic sinking, that there are way too many similarities between the Titan and the Titanic to ignore. Both ships were triple-screwed passenger liners with three propellers and two masts and a capacity of 3,000. Both ships were specifically deemed unsinkable and both had too few lifeboats. Both collided with an iceberg on the forward starboard side in the Atlantic and both sunk in April. Some speculate that this is a blatant instance of synchronicity a term coined by psychoanalyst Carl Jung, meaning a connection between two or more occurrences or events, which appear to be significantly related but have no discernible casual connection. However, the story of the Titan isn't the only thing Robertson had written that seems to have predicted a horrific tragedy. In 1914, two years after the sinking of the Titanic, Robertson released a new edition of Futility. He included another short story called Beyond the Spectrum, which described a war between the Empire of Japan 
and the United States, where Japan launches sneak attacks on American ships en route to the Philippines and Hawaii. The attack on Pearl Harbor occurred on December 7, 1941, 27 years after the publication of Beyond the Spectrum. While it's easy to find the similarities extraordinary between the Titan and the Titanic, Robertson didn't predict everything perfectly. While they both have a lot in common, they have an equally long list of differences. However, some of these differences are so minute that some people don't even bother comparing them. For instance, the Titan sailed from New York to Liverpool, England, and sunk on its third voyage while the Titanic sailed from Southampton, England to New York and sank on its maiden voyage. The Titan was 800 feet long and displaced 45,000 tons, while the Titanic was 880 feet long and displaced 46,328 tons. The Titan had 15 watertight compartments and 40,000 horsepower with a top speed of 24 knots, while the Titanic had 9 watertight compartments, 45,000 horsepower, and a top speed of 23 knots. And lastly, the Titan contained 2,500 passengers, with only 13 survivors, while the Titanic had 2,200 passengers, with, thankfully, far more survivors at 705. Morgan Robertson died at the age of 53 on March 24, 1915, where he was found in his hotel room at the Alamac in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It is believed that he had overdosed on peraldehyde, commonly used as a sedative in the 1800s and is sometimes used currently to help treat seizures. Was Robertson's overdose accidental or a suicide? Some believe that he was plagued by such awful predictions that he couldn't handle the idea of seeing them come to fruition. Others believe it was a mere accident, where he was an insomniac of a writer and just trying to get some rest. What do you guys think? Was this all just a titanic coincidence? Or did Morgan Robertson possess the ability to predict tragedies? I hope you all have enjoyed this week's episode of Sketchy Legends. These last two episodes have been incredibly fun to research, write, and find artistic inspiration from. I'm going to try to put out an episode every Sunday for all of you to enjoy, if I can. All supplies used and the creation of this piece will be listed in the description box below. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as heading on over and following me on Instagram at j underscore defiori underscore art. Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of Sketchy Legends, and have a great day.